Come here. Ah, come here. Come here. You're cooked. You're cooked. You're cooked. Light work, my. Oh, shit. When did this thing become a quarter black? Yeah. <laughs> what? I would expect nothing more. Modern reverse Aizen death battle. Look, last death battle we watched was Naruto versus Ichigo. And Naruto took that W, man. Chat was mad. Comment sections were mad. That video has an 89% uh like to dislike ratio bro compared to a usual 98 percent people were livid seeing naruto get that w and apparently that video was so old that death battle had to make another video saying no actually ichigo would win i didn't see it so to me that doesn't matter naruto took the the w in my heart now it's bigger than just naruto it's about the naruto verse it's naruto verse first bleach first naruto's up one naruto's up one can bleach make a comeback Look, let's make a bet, man. Let's make a bet. If Naruto wins, I need everybody in chat to follow. And if you're watching this video, subscribe and say date by yo in the comments. Just nothing else, but uh, you can say whatever else you want, but just gotta have date by yo at the end. If Bleach wins and Naruto loses, I'll spin the wheel then. Ban someone from chat, we'll delete. Take a shot of hot sauce, gift, 10 subs, thug shakes, oil up. I'll add, someone said eat a lemon, I'll add eat a lemon. You know what, I'll add eat an onion, eat a raw egg, smash a egg, oh, smash an egg on your head. I'll add smash an egg on head, oh my god. Gift merch, W, wax legs, but I'll call a wax person to do it, or I'll get the wax stuff tomorrow, that's fair, I'll get the wax stuff tomorrow. Madara vs Aizen. Madara Uchiha, the legendary messianic shinobi from Naruto. Zosuke Aizen, the Soul Reaper who stood upon the hill. He's got nothing on my boy! From Bleach. We may dream of glory, but these two have the will to power. Look at those eyes. Penetrating my soul. They say, The eyes show the strength of someone's soul. And I can see how strong you are. Power to take it by force. Yeah. And a seat among the gods. They're the biggest, baddest anime bosses around, and not even death can stop them. Ghost versus zombie. Let's go. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Endless destruction. Countless dead. A plot to conquer the planet. The ninja world was at war. For the fourth time, only one man could save humanity from itself, from beyond the grave. The same man who orchestrated this war in the first place in order to end all wars forever. Madara Uchiha. War was the only thing the young Madara knew, and there was no ninja he liked but- This video is 20 minutes long, don't make it an hour by glazing. <sighs> more than Hashirama Senju. They're basically ninja Romeo and Juliet. Belonging to opposing clans, Madara and Hashirama were forced to battle each other for years, all the while dreaming of a better future. Their bromance eventually overcame their clan's differences and the two groups merged, creating the village of Konoha. But Madara wasn't satisfied with Hashirama's dream of peace through cooperation. He desired an immortal peace through total domination. Everyone else thought that was crazy, so he bounced, and then he came back to wage war against the village he helped build. Well, that didn't last long, huh? Madara's megalomania was perhaps fated, considering he is in fact the reincarnation of the demigod Indra Otsutsuki and the inheritor of his immensely powerful chakra. Yeah. Basically physical and spiritual energy that makes ninja magic. Madara specializes in fire and wood style jutsus, which just seems irresponsible to put those together, like a gender reveal party waiting to happen. His wood is especially impressive, considering it's the only style of elemental jutsu that can create life. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Madara can even use his goonbai to absorb ninjutsu and return it right back to sender. You know you're a badass when you can take on armies with- What game is this, Jack? What game is this? Just a friggin' fan. Madara has torn apart hordes of ninja without breaking a sweat, taking a beating from- 
Ducky knows another about Madara's word. Here we go. Oh, jump force, okay. Every tailed beast at once, and even defeated the five Kage, some of the strongest shinobi in the world. The Rai Kage is even stated to be fast enough to move at light speed. And even weaker ninja like Orochimaru have dodged literal photon beams. But Madara's greatest tool is the one born from his very bloodline, the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. These magical eyes massively enhance his perception down to the cellular level. While I see Ducky D cry in defeat. Level, allowing him to predict movements, see the flow of chakra, and summon the mighty perfect Susano. Yeah. The Sharingan can also cast a Genjutsu yeah. and trap anyone that looks at it. What is Aizen talking about? Hit him with the Sharingan one time, it sweeps! Illusion, and even break them out of those same illusions. In Sasuke's case, even ones as strong as Itachi Tsukuyomi, which can warp your perception of time. Itachi used it on a fellow Uchiha and made her live out her entire- He has the same illusion abilities, but that's the thing. The Genjutsu can also get you out of illusion. So that means eyes and illusion abilities are cooked. Cooked. Come on, boy. Life in the span of one one hundredth of one one thousandth of one one millionth of a second. And when she died in the illusion, she died for real. If Bleach wins, you can't glaze Naruto for the next five streams, bet. If Sasuke could break out of it, Madara could too, easily. And after grafting some of Hashirama's cells onto himself, he now- Would always have a piece of his Romeo inside him. <laughs> this is my ship, Wiz. Stop looking at me like that. He not only gained a healing factor strong enough to regenerate from having half his body vaporized, but also the terrifying Rinnegan. AKA the big chungus of all eye magic. The ringy eyes let Madara absorb chakra and ninjutsu, create invisible limbo clones, see and remove your soul from your body, and summon giant ass meteors. As if he needed any more fucking powers. What is Aizen doing right now? Is this actually live or reposted? Reposted, bro. Do I have permission to leave and watch all of Naruto? Hell yeah! Get out of here, dude! Go change your life! Cute, you could beat that? Ban him. While the Rinnegan lacks some of the Sharingan's unique abilities, he can switch between them at will. After tearing the ninja world a new asshole, Madara was finally defeated in a climactic battle for the ages by his BFF. And thus, the life of a legendary shinobi came to an end. Aizen is always two steps ahead. My nigga, Madara was two decades ahead. I, Madara was two decades ahead. What you mean, Nick Nico Cato Avocado? Decades ahead. Been plotting this shit for years. For years. Legendary climactic battle for the ages by his BFF. And thus the life of a legendary shinobi came to an end in the arms of his one true love. Or did it? Alright, this, this is gonna get pretty crazy, but just bear with me. Fearing a defeat in battle, Madara set a time delay jutsu that would posthumously rewrite reality and bring him back to life. Yeah. And it worked! So Madara tricked another Uchiha, Obito, into witnessing his best friend murdering his other best friend. Then he tasked Obito with manipulating the world into another war. Meanwhile, he gave his own Rinnegan to Nagato with the goal of getting it back after he was brought back to life the second time with the Outer Path because he died again. Make sense? Nah, that'll never work. <laughs> You're right, it didn't. So Obito went out and got the Rinnegan back from Nakato's corpse, because he died. Then Kabuto brought Madara back to life, and he got his eyes back from Obito after some backstabbing. Then he sealed the awakened Tentails within himself in order to gain ultimate power and create the world's greatest nap time ever. <gasps> w Raid, Asian Miles. I almost missed the raid. I almost missed the raid. <laughs> Look what you people have done to him. You'd think Ten Tails' power would be awesome, but those dinky hate balls of doom are so lame. Don't let their size fool you. These truth-seeking orbs are in another league. The Ten Tails is strong enough to wipe continents off. This is why we're not getting more viewers. <laughs> off the map, and the orbs can be shaped into weapons that will completely disintegrate anything they come into contact with. Come on, dude. Orbs are in come a on, dude. of doom are so lame. Don't let their size fool you. These truth-seeking orbs are in another league. The Ten Tails is strong enough to wipe continents off the map, and the orbs can be shaped into weapons that will completely disintegrate anything they come into contact with. Come on, dude. Not even ninja resurrected through Edo Tensei like Minato could regenerate limbs lost to the truth-seeking orbs, which means they had to erase his literal spirit itself.
Madara's power was so insane he was considered comparable to the original Sage of Sixpence. Come on! The dude who helped create the friggin' moon! And when Madara created meteors, they were large enough to show up against the curvature of the Earth. Measuring their size and estimating the height at which Madara lifted them, they'd have to possess a potential energy of at least 372 petatons of TNT. He was even fast enough to keep up with Eight Gates Guy, who kicked hard enough to bend space! Madara even has an attack where he hawks light speed loogies! Considering even base Madara has displayed speeds on par with light timing ninja, we know Ten Tails Madara would have to be significantly faster thanks to the Ten Tails' power. With virtually no one left to oppose him, Madara's plot was finally in the endgame. He awakened the Rin Sharingan, and with the God Tree summoned, he cast the infinite Tsukuyomi, spreading the tree's roots across the entire planet and capturing every single person in the world. This would enslave all of humanity in an endless dream world, free of conflict forever. Peace! Through total domination. Manipulating this tree with his chakra would have involved physically spreading its roots through and around the entire earth in mere moments. Come on Estimating now. the tree's mass and the speed at which the roots were moved, his chakra must have released an energy exceeding one Yoda ton of TNT. And I this was how much that is. Jutsu. Is there a character that could possibly even touch Madara Uchiha? Kishimoto himself didn't even know. Ducky's forehead plus the sun no diffs Madara and Naruto verse. You about to lose this bet, you mad. Madara's power was so overwhelming, the only thing that could take him down was treachery. Even the man with the magic eyes couldn't see that coming. All that was left was his old friend, Hashirama, there to comfort him in his final moments. Just like Romeo and Juliet, for never was there a story of more woe than this of Hashirama and his Madabro. I read it in iambic So pentameter. beautiful. So beautiful, man. Just beautiful stories written in this mother freaking goat of an anime, dude. You turn it on and every day you're just like, it just don't stop getting better. Is there a gas leak in here? Now the real fun begins. The Soul Society was in chaos. One of its leading Shinigami was set to be executed under suspicious circumstances. A band of humans for- Shut up. Let me add that to the counter. Oh, I had 37. Honestly, I don't even know what this is talking about right now. So uh, I'm gonna go get a snack for real because at this point, I, I just don't give a fuck. From the living world had invaded to save her. And Sosuke Aizen, captain of the 5th division of the Gote 13, was dead. Murdered. What dastardly mastermind could have been behind all this? He'd have to be a galaxy brained 5D chess master. The man responsible was, in fact, Sosuke Aizen. Little is known about the man's past, only that he isn't a man, a human man, but a soul reaper. These Shinigami are spiritual beings who ferry lost souls to the afterlife and purify those who have turned- What? He killed himself? What? What? See this, like what? This shit don't even make any sense. Like this is what I'm talking about, bro, what? Murder. And Sosuke Aizen, captain of the fifth division of the Gote 13, was dead, murdered. What dastardly mastermind could have been behind all this? He'd have to be a galaxy-brained 5D chess master. The man responsible was, in fact, Sosuke Aizen. Little is known about the man's past, only that he isn't a man, a human man, but a soul reaper. These Shinigami are spiritual beings who ferry lost souls to the afterlife and purify those who have turned evil in the living world. They're badass anime wizard Grim Reaper swordsmen. Though Aizen himself was hardly that cool. I mean, just look at those glasses, dork. But this Clark Kent was harboring a secret. Aizen had spent years attempting to develop the means to ultimate power, ruining the lives of many of his colleagues via his twisted experiments. Oh, so when Aizen does it, he's a super villain, but when you do it to me, it's shut the hell up, Boomstick, you're under NDA and I know about the stuff you've As a Shinigami, Aizen's body is made of Reishi, being spirit matter, and empowered by Raryoku, being spirit energy. Entities made of Reishi are completely invisible to anyone without specific supernatural awareness, though a Shinigami's body is still tangible and can be damaged normally. And with his Rei Ryoku energy, Aizen can create incredibly powerful blasts. He's so strong, weaker beings will literally disintegrate if they get too close to him. This is due to his Reiatsu, a localized spiritual pressure exerted as a result of his enormous power. 
He also knows tons of keto, or spells. He can create force fields, bend the light around him to make him impossible to detect, fire concentrated bolts of lightning, and absorb- So his whole thing is he just wants to be the most powerful man on earth? How lame is that? Oh, Orochimaru ass, lame ass reason to be a villain, nigga. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Absorb the energy from his surroundings to make giant ass energy dragons. Perhaps his deadliest keto. Energy from his surroundings able to detect fire concentrated bolts of lightning and absorb the energy from his surroundings to make giant ass energy dragons. Perhaps his death. I wouldn't understand. That's just bad. He's not him. He's done already. He's cooked. Deadliest keto is possible to detect fire concentrated bolts of lightning and absorb the energy from his surroundings to make giant ass energy dragons. That ain't Perhaps shit. his deadliest keto is Kurohitsugi. After it. Susa no does that shit dirty. Extensive incantation, Aizen surrounds his target in an enormous black coffin that distorts space and time and tears its victims apart. Aizen's plotting finally came to fruition during the invasion of the Soul Society, where he faked his death using his greatest weapon, his Zanpakuto, Kyoka Swigetsu. A Shinigami Zanpakuto is a magical sword that possesses a sentient spirit. Kyoka Swigetsu gives Aizen complete control over his victim's senses the instant they lay eyes on the sword. This complete hypnosis traps its victims in a nearly perfect illusion that Aizen can manipulate at will, Again, making himself virtually immune to attacks while his opponents are sitting ducks. It's so strong that it- Chad, now let me ask, why are we even putting him up against Madara? This nigga wouldn't survive Itachi. Let's be honest. He shouldn't be here right now. He's not in the league. Self virtually immune to attacks while his opponents are sitting ducks. It's so strong that it kept a group of Exo Reapers known as the Visor trapped for over a hundred years without them even knowing it. It's one of the most broken powers ever and the definition of anime bullshit. But it was all worth it when he perfected his ultimate creation, the Hogyoku. An immensely powerful reality warping device that, quote, materializes the user's wishes. Oh, wow. In Aizen's case, it realized his desire to become the strongest being in the universe. With it, he can heal any of his wounds, even when half his body is vaporized. And more importantly, it exponentially increases his power what kind over of philosopher time stone shit is that? by turning him into a horrifying butterfly monster man. A being eventually strong enough to dethrone and replace the Soul King, the deity that controls the cosmic balance. Even a minor disruption to the Soul King's influence led to the three worlds of Earth, the Soul Society, and Hueco Mundo to start physically collapsing. Then it implied that the Soul King has to be outputting enough energy to hold all these places together at all times. Considering each should be roughly the same size, this would re- Madara's cook? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, this one might seem kind of cool. But hold on, you forget Madara got a six pass. He got a six pass, bro. So wait. Together at all times. Considering each should be roughly the same size, this would require an energy of over 140 zettatons of TNT. Oh my god. Aizen is powerful enough to vaporize mountains as a side effect of a sword is swing. His left? casual energy blasts can disintegrate huge chunks of the earth, and he can take on armies with just his Ryatsu alone. He even defeated the rest of the Gote 13 without so much as breaking a sweat. So he- Do you want to five Kage though? Did he go against the five Kage though? Chat. Did he go against the five Kage though? Five Kage, nigga. Counter? Count this dick, nigga. Did he go against the five Kage? No! Should be wasted and defeated the rest of the Gote 13 without so much as breaking a sweat. So he should be way stronger than Soul Society heavy hitters like Kenpachi, who sliced this 120 kilometer wide asteroid to pieces. So that's roughly the width of Great Britain. An asteroid of this size would have to carry. He went against you five foreheads. There we go. Jared, much love, man. I appreciate you. Seriously. A kinetic energy of at least 44 petatons of TNT. And Aizen was so badass, he literally transcended other Shinigami in power. He was in a whole other dimension from the rest of them. Bro, I only watched the first Naruto and not Shippuden. So I have no idea what you're talking about. Is Shippuden good? You're bugging. <laughs> yeah, Shippuden is better than Naruto. Obito and Pain are better villains than Madara. Story-wise, yes. Yes. Until he fought Ichigo Kurosaki. The battle dimension so badass, he literally transcended other Shinigami in power. He was in a whole other dimension from the rest of them. Until he fought Ichigo Kurosaki. The battle we've all been waiting for. 
Way before this in the Soul Society arc, Ichigo was already as fast as lightning. And by this point, after all his power boosts, he'd even be faster than light. Hell, even oh, wow. weaker characters like this lady can dodge light beams. Though their fight was epic, Ichigo had transcended the Shinigami as well, and even Aizen himself. Feeding upon his insecurities, the Hogoku abandoned Aizen, who was quickly defeated and imprisoned within the bottommost level of the Soul Society's prison. Aizen was left alone. His great power he sacrificed so much to achieve was gone forever. Okay. Or was it? Huh? Somehow he ended up getting even stronger than before. What? What made him so strong? Could it be? The chair? It's not the chair. It could theoretically be due to the chair's restraints keeping his react. Cheating. This is called cheating. They just power scaling niggas. Like, like nigga, he died. Like, you can't just bring niggas back like this. Yatsu from properly releasing, building it up within him until he was stronger in base than he was at his previous max. Nah, it's definitely the chair. And, ooh, since the chair could still hold him after he got stronger, wouldn't that make it even stronger than him? Even stronger than the Soul King? All hail the mighty chair Sama, most powerful being in all of Bleach. He even managed to hold his own against the Quincy Warlord, Yua, who absorbed the power of the Soul King himself. He even used Kyoka Soigetsu to trick him, and Yuha's a dude who can literally see every possible future all at the same time. All according to Keikaku, bitches! And after standing among the gods themselves, Aizen returned to captivity and pondered the meaning of his existence. Uh, even trapped in a prison, sealed off in a different dimension with a 20,000 year sentence, he remains the most dangerous being in the world. Who knows what schemes are brewing behind those cold, calculating eyes. No compassion, no empathy, only the drive for power. No one has ever stood at the top. Neither you nor me from now on. I alone will stand at the top. You sound like me out there, but Madara takes this W. Lock the frick in. Lock the frick in. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. Uh huh? Uh huh? You can see me. I can see everything. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> Come on! Did you see that? Okay. Nice. Yeah, bitch! What? The ultimate defense. Six pass. Let me show you what. Let me show you something cute. Ain't shit to me, nigga. Come here. Ah, come here. Come here. You're cooked. You're cooked. You're cooked. Light work, my. Oh, shit. God, when did this nigga become a quarter black? What mode is this? Don't worry, it's just on who's got us at. 
Easy shit, nigga. This is light work. I love it. The thrill of battle. The pounding of my heart. The taste of my own blood. Yes. I love it. Yes. <laughs> you do this for the power, nigga. I do this for the love of the game. I do this for the love of the game. <laughs> Had me there, you tricky bastard. Nothing escapes my illusions, human. Know your place. <laughs> Let's go. Died twice for his 5D chess plan. Well, Eisen only fake died once. Eisen and Madara were extremely matched yeah! in raw power. Yeah! By our calculations, Madara spreading the god trees. Let's go, son. Naruto up two nil. Naruto up two zero, nigga. Let's go, son. Yes. Woo. <laughs> hey, I need to see it. Date Bayo! Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Come on, dude. A bet's a bet. If you ain't following now, follow up. If you ain't following now, follow up, man. I'm honestly going to crash. I'm honestly going to crash out. My boys. My boys. My boys. Let's be realistic. Eisen put up a great fight. He did. It was close. It was beautiful to watch. It was, it really was. But at the end of the day, Madara is Madara, bro. Aizen might be two steps ahead, but like I said, Madara is two decades ahead. Roots with his chakra was about seven times more powerful than the best that Aizen could scale to with his rare Yoku. And both ended up being roughly as fast as each other. While there are a range of possible feats and numbers to go with to determine their limits, the point is they're always going to be close to even. Which means the main thing that mattered here were their powers and how they countered each other. Madara's enormous variety of abilities eventually overwhelmed Aizen. Tell While him. soul reapers like Aizen may be invisible to regular people, the Rinnegan allowed Madara to see invisible spiritual beings like his own limbo clone. Ain't shit now, to me. the Rinnegan lets you see and remove human souls, and that's exactly what a soul reaper is. Both Chakra and Rare Yoku utilized spirit energy and operated in similar ways, being formed into attacks like ninjutsu and keto. That meant that Madara's ability to absorb ninjutsu allowed him to nullify the vast majority of Aizen's range attacks and even dispel his force fields. And despite how OP Aizen's complete hypnosis was, Sharon got- I'm about to snap. I'm burning down my house. <laughs> Me included, I ain't going to jail. I'm crashing out, bruh. I hate these PPL straight blades you got so <laughs> Yo! Crash out, bro! Put a fucking hole in the wall, nigga! Put a fucking hole in the wall, nigga! Fuck you! <laughs> and users can break out and despite how OP Aizen's complete hypnosis was, Sharon Gun users can break out of illusions no sweat, even ones as powerful as Itachi's Sukuyomi. And since Madara can switch between the Rinnegan and the Sharon Gun at will, he'd be able to break out of an illusion anytime he wanted. Aizen's illusion. Gray, it's just a skill issue, little bro. Sit down. Sit down. Be humble. Are nearly perfect, but fellow Captain Unahana was able to subconsciously notice its flaws. With an eye as perceptive as the Sharingan, which can spot imperfections in Genjutsu all the time, it was only inevitable that Madara would be able to quickly break out. 
However, the same couldn't be said for Aizen, who never showed any resistance to the kind of mental illusions Madara can create. Even setting illusions aside, the sheer quantity of offensive options at Madara's disposal, whether it be his clones, meteors, or monsters summoned by the Rinnegan, kept Aizen constantly on the back foot. But none of that mattered if they couldn't kill each other, and both had pretty insane healing factors that could recover from just about anything, except for those pesky eight balls of doom. Yeah. Madara's truth-seeking orbs were capable of completely molecularly kill the spirit, dude. spiritual beings, yeah, dude. preventing them from regenerating. Can't and stop them again, shits. Aizen was a spiritual being. And Zizen lacked the ability to do the same irreversible damage to Madara, the ghost of the Uchiha had exactly what he needed to put this actual ghost down for good. Aizen was an unbelievably overpowered foe, but Madara's own powers, illusions, and devastating truth-seeking orbs allowed him to crush the ex-Shinigami. Sosuke should have kept his Aizen the prize. And do you feel any shame at all? Eh. Moderate. They didn't even use his final form. Is that not his final form? No matter what form he's in, bro, the truth seeking orbs are doing this nigga dirty. Truth seeking orbs kill the spirit. You're cooked. It don't, like, after that, you're not coming back. Ha! Double pun. Suck it, Wiz. The winner is Madara Uchiha. Naruto verse up 2 0, bro. Y'all about to be mad when this drops. I'm reporting their channel. Ha <laughs> ha